break. Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Chances are so outstanding. Well, hello, everybody. Um, most of you know me, but for those that don't, my name is Renee Grenier, and I'm the so one of the social service advocates here at the Hudson Senior Center. Can't hear you. Okay, sorry about that. You can also take the mic. I will. <laughs> sorry, Janice and I are actually a lot alike. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, be speaking to you today just about a few ways in which our department um, can assist you. And the area I'd like to focus on is actually the SHINE program. Now, many of you may know that both myself, Janice, and Anna are all certified SHINE counselors. And just to reiterate, um, the acronym SHINE stands for Serving the Health Information Needs of the Elderly. And basically, the program is designed to ensure that Medicare beneficiaries have access to accurate, unbiased information about health insurance and their health care options. Um, basically, here at the center, we will meet with individuals one-on-one -on -one for counseling sessions to help you evaluate your current health and drug plans, screening for subsidy programs that can really save you a lot of money in your prescriptions, or maybe your health care premiums, and we actually do a lot of work to help resolve billing issues. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people in this room who have received statements that they're unsure of, um, or they're just wondering what exactly does my plan cover, or maybe they have a question about a drug restriction. Those are all things that we can research and help you out with here. Um, one of our busiest times during the year, as I'm sure you all know, is the annual enrollment period which takes place in the fall. I'm sure if you come in here around that time, you'll see us running around crazy, but um, I just want to reinforce that there has been a change to the enrollment period for this coming year. Um, this year, open enrollment is going to take place between October 15th and December 7th, whereas the past few years, it's been between November 15th and December 31st. So just to keep that in your mind when you're preparing for the new year, to be, you'll be coming in a little bit earlier this year. Now during the annual enrollment period, we usually like to focus on assisting seniors with researching their health plans and making them aware of any changes to expect in the upcoming year. Now I know this happened last year, there was a lot of plans that were terminated or were no longer financially feasible anymore. So we can really guide you through the process if you have to change your plan. But kind of look at it day to day. We are here every day to help you just with basic things, like screening you for public benefits. Um, we will help apply you for special programs. I'm sure a lot of you might have, say, prescription advantage or a mass health buying program or just plain mass health. We're here to help assess you and to basically take you through the steps from start to finish. So um, we really like to make sure we follow up with our seniors and make sure that things are running smoothly throughout the year. And it's really easy to get in touch with us. You can call us, you know, grab us if you see us walking by and we'll set up an appointment. Um, just a little statistic, over the past, well, 2009 and 2010, we haven't gotten the stats, some of the stats yet. Um, but we actually saved Hudson seniors over $400,000 in their health and drug care costs. And this is just on um, Janice and myself. So and we're hoping the numbers are going to be even a little bit higher for this, for this past year. But just to reinforce, this program is a really vital resource, and we encourage you to seek our assistance with any of your questions or concerns. Um, and lastly, I would like to also briefly mention another area in which we provide some information or referral. And as Janice alluded to, as many of you know, Bay Path Elder Services is the home care agency that's state regulated um, in our area that serves Hudson seniors age 60 and older. Uh, now before I came to work here at the Senior Center, I was actually a case manager at both Bay Path Elder Services and Minuteman Senior Services. <coughs> So our department is very familiar 
with um, a lot of the programs that BayPath has to offer. And we do make very frequent referrals over to BayPath. So I just want people to be aware if you have basic questions or you <coughs> might um, come across somebody in your own family or yourself <coughs> that needs help with grocery shopping, homemaking, <coughs> personal care, those are all things you can speak to us about first. And we do have a special referral form we use to provide that information to BayPath and then somebody <coughs> can get in touch with you to provide additional information. So um, I don't want to dwell on that. I know we have a representative here, Kathleen from BayPath, who will speak about that in greater detail. Um, but right now, I'd just like to turn the time over to Anna Salomo, who is our bilingual outreach worker, and she will be providing additional information on other programs. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. I'm actually going to use the microphone because I know I couldn't hear very well. Um, I'm Morris and Janice and Renee, I'm from Morris Shop. But as you all know, my name is Anna. I'm a bilingual part time outreach worker social service advocate for the senior center. I'm very happy that Janice hired me because I can speak to the Portuguese and I've had um, the pleasure of working with a lot of Portuguese speaking seniors as well as many of you. Um, I don't discriminate against anybody. Um, some of the programs that Janice and me already talked about are aware of. I'm going to talk a little bit about some other public benefit programs that might help seniors stay in their own home. Um, fuel assistance is a very helpful program for many of you. Um, it runs from November. It runs sort of like school year, so it runs from November of last year to April 30th. So it's ending in April, on April 30th. You can apply until April 30th. Um, it helps you with your heating costs, and as we know, heating has been increasing over the last few years. Uh, if you have oil, especially, and gas, it helps with gas, it helps with oil. It could be wood, it could be propane. They will help in any forms of heating. It could be electric, which some of you have electric as your heating. And it's income-based only, so they don't look at your assets. They don't care if you have a million dollars in the bank. They solely look at what your income is. Um, it's gross income, so a lot of people say, well, I'm under the income guideline, but they're looking at their net income. Unfortunately, all of most of the programs are gross income. So for one person, um, you can apply for fuel if you're an individual, if you make up to $30,751 a year. And that does increase every year a little bit. So it goes up a little bit every year as far as the guidelines, but this is this year's guideline. If you're a couple, you can make up to $40,213 a year and still be able to qualify for fuel assistance. Um, it doesn't pay for your whole heating, but it helps you pay for part of that heating. Another program that we um, help people with here are food stamps, as Renee mentioned. Um, that food stamp program um, changed for seniors over 60. They don't look at assets either anymore, which they did in the past. It's income-based only, so, but it's also gross income-based. If you are an individual person, um, your gross income can be, has to be below $17.34 a month to be able to qualify. Now, that guideline is a little, um, it's the, the top guideline, but you can deduct medical costs out of pocket, so you could um, deduct like your health insurance premiums, what you pay in co-pays for your prescriptions, um, doctor co-pays, anything out of pocket that you use for medical will come off that uh, as a deduction, as well as like heating costs, any housing costs. So that helps bring your benefit up if you have more if you have higher medical costs, or if you have your own home, um, that really helps you with that, getting more inclusive benefit. If you're a couple, you have to be below 2,334 a month to be able to at least qualify. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't guarantee that you will qualify if, you are, if you're under that, but if you have the more expenses you have, the better chance that you will qualify, because they have a net. Um, limit. So if you don't get to that net limit with your deductions, then you may not qualify, but at least you can apply. And it's a big help for people with the high food costs that we have. Um, another thing we do is we do food pantry referrals. So the Hudson Food Pantry, we also provide referrals for that. 
We do a lot of public, other public benefits that Renee and Janice already talked about, like um, help with insurance costs in those areas. Uh, over the last two and a half years, um, we, Janice, Renee, and myself have filled out over 280 fuel assistance applications, um, and we've done over 160 applications for food stamps and food pantry referrals. That's combined. Um, Another area that we're really fortunate to have at this senior center is legal assistance and financial management assistance. So we're very lucky to have two attorneys that come here, um, give up their time to help the seniors. We have attorney Susan who comes and does consultations for free once a month. And we also have attorney Bergeron, of course, who does these wonderful free legal clinics. And I've learned quite a few things from the clinics myself as far as even last time we had veterans benefits, which was really helpful. Um, so we're very fortunate in that area. We can also refer our seniors to the Metro West um, the Legal Help at Metro West Legal Services in Framingham. They provide free legal services in our area. And for financial support, a lot of people, um, they may just be having trouble managing their, their finances, their checkbook, their, you know, they just get, you just not, um, managing it as well as you thought you would be able to. So we have a money management program that we can refer to through, through Big Path, and it's very helpful for people who just need a little bit extra help with their money and financial management. And it's all volunteer program. All the volunteers are core rates, so they're all, but I'm sure Big Path will talk a little bit more about that. So we just have a real, um, we're very fortunate to have a lot of people that we can refer to and give you help on if you need it. And really, thank you very much for coming. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very, very much.